If you budget, but you have no idea where all your money is going, see if you've got the spare money syndrome. Hey everyone, welcome to another SMP Relatable. I often have people tell me they budget, yet their savings aren't reflected in their bank account. In almost all these cases, they suffer from what I call spare money syndrome. To help explain this, let's just assume in month one, we earn $100, our living costs are $70, we should be saving $30 in that month. Now the same thing happens in month two, so theoretically, we should have $60 in the bank. But spare money syndrome is that exact moment that you decide to go out and spend that money because we haven't forecast for the future. Because in month three, we still earn $100, but our living costs are $120. Where are we gonna come up with that extra $20 if we've already gone out and spent that money? If you're needing credit cards to cover that debt, or if you're dipping into your savings to cover those costs, then there's a good chance that you suffer from spare money syndrome, also known as excess spending. Knowing the problem is half the solution. Fixing that problem with something that we've probably been doing most of our lives is going to be the hardest part. There is a cure for spare money syndrome and it also takes the stress away of having to pay all your bills and also guarantees more savings than you've ever had before. If you'd like more information about that, leave a comment down below, message us or make a booking via our Facebook page. Let's cure the world of spare money syndrome. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share with your friends and family. And remember, anything worth having in this life, we wanna save, make and protect.